Delaney, and we're here to talk about missing numbers in subtraction. Let's give a really easy example to start things off. Let's say we had the number 9 minus 3, and it gives us 6. But let's say I covered up the 3, and that was my missing number, and I wanted to find out the 3. And I have the numbers 9 and 6. Is there a way I'd be able to figure out this 3? You've got it. I could subtract 9 minus 6, and that would give me 3. So I could use subtraction to figure out the number that's in this place, which is what's called the subtrahend, if you remember correctly. So I could use subtraction. But what about if I wanted to cover up the 9 instead? which is, by the way, the minuend. How could I get to 9 with my 3 and my 6? Ah, you see that I could add them. I could add the 6 and the 3, and that would give me 9. So in this instance, I would use addition. So to find the missing numbers in subtraction, we can either use subtraction or addition. It just depends on which number you're trying to find. Are you trying to find the minuend or the subtrahend? So let's give you a little bit more complex example. Let's do 32 minus some number, I'm going to call that number R because I don't know what that number is, equals 15. So because I am missing this number, we know that I can use subtraction. That's right. I can do 32 minus 15. And that gives us 17. But I'm not going to stop there. Let's use our built-in answer checker. Let's do 17 plus, whoops, let's do 17 plus 15. And that gives us 32, which is what we started out with. So that means, correctly, that 17 is our answer. Let's give you another problem. Where, subtraction worked this time because we were trying to find that subtrahend number. But what if I had a number? Uh, there we go. The number, we're going to start with S. I don't know what S is. And I want to subtract 17. And I want to end up with 32. Well, that looks like how we do our built in answer checker, does it? So, Let's go ahead and add these two, 32 plus 17, because we know that this S has got to be a bigger number than both 17 and 32. So let's add them together. Oops, I should be adding. I got confused. That happens sometimes. <laughs> there we go. 7 plus 2 is 9. 3 plus 1 is 4. So it tells us that our answer is 49, but let's go ahead and check it. We're going to do 49 minus 17, and we're going to get 32. Look at that. It means it's the correct answer. So again, finding missing numbers in subtraction, you can either use subtraction or addition. It just depends on which one of these numbers we're looking for. Pretty simple. Okay, that's it. See you later. Bye.